Hi, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome back to another tutorial on JavaFX. In this video, you'll learn how to create and use the JavaFX Stack Pane Layout Manager. I'm going to cover the following topics. One, how to create a new stack pane. Two, how to add child nodes to the stack pane. And three, how to set the alignment of child nodes in the stack pane. So let's get started. So this is our standard starting point in a JavaFX application. Uh, for those of you who haven't been following my previous videos, I certainly encourage you to go back and look at some of those. If you need a copy of this project and its structure, uh, it is available on GitHub and I will leave a link to that in the video description below. The JavaFX stack pane is a layout manager that arranges its children in a back to front order. That is to say that the first node that you add to the stack pane will be on the bottom of the stack. The next node will be stacked on top of that first node and the subsequent nodes will be stacked in order from last to first on top of each other in the stack pane. So let's create one and uh, see what that looks like. Next, we'll add some nodes or controls to the stack pane. So the first one I'm going to add is an image. I have a copy of an image of Yoda from Star Wars that I've downloaded from pixabay.com. And we're going to use that to add to our stack pane. Layer one is an image. We'll create an image view. And we'll pass the location of the yoda.jpg file. And then we'll add that image view to the stack pane. We'll use the get children method to get the current list of nodes in the stack pane. And then we'll add our image view. And let's give it a run and see what that picture looks like. So there's our picture of Yoda. So you'll notice that the picture is centered within the bounds of the stack pane. Center is the default alignment for a node added to a stack pane. So let's add another node. Layer two is a label. And on the label, I'm going to add some text, which will be a quote. And then we'll add the label to the stack pane using the same get children and add method. If you've been watching any of my previous videos, uh, you'll be aware that I normally include a style sheet to make the text of uh, any of our labels or button elements a little bigger to make it easier to see. I've done that in this case as, as well. And I've also included some CSS in that style sheet uh, for the label. So let's run it and see what that looks like. You'll notice now that we have two nodes in the stack pane. The first being the image and the second being a label. The image being added first is at the bottom of the stack and the label is on top of or stacked on the image. And since we haven't changed the alignment, they both have the default alignment of center. So let's now add a third element, a button. And then we'll add that to the stack pane. We'll run one more time. And this time we'll see the three elements. The first, the image, then the label, 
and then the button. And the third thing that we're going to look at is how to change the default alignment of a node that has been added to the stack pane. So we don't need to change the alignment of the image at this point. We have it at the center, although you, you certainly could change it to any other alignment to the left or to the right, the top, the bottom. But I'm going to leave it at the default alignment of center for the image. I'm going to change the default alignment for the label and give it a specific alignment. We're going to put that at the bottom center. The way we do that is using a static method on the stack pane class itself. Stack pane dot set alignment. We pass the child node, which is label, and then the value POS dot bottom center. Now, if we run that, we'll see the image at the bottom, which is centered, we'll see the label, which should now end up in the middle on the bottom of the stack pane, and we'll still see that the button is centered. Do or do not, there is no try. Now let's change the default alignment for the button. Again, the static method on the stack pane class itself. It's the button. And let's say, the top right. Run it again. And so now we have it moved up to the top right. I'm going to remove the height and width settings in the creation of the new scene. By removing the specific height and width, the scene contents now determine the height and width. The largest of the elements that we've currently entered is our image. So the image is going to decide how big our scene is actually going to be. And now you can better see as well the layout of the elements in the stack pane or the stacking of the elements on top of one another. And one final thing I want to do just for fun is to just add some behavior to our button. So I'm going to use a lambda expression to add the behavior to the button. And all I'm going to do is change the text on the label. Always pass on what you have learned. And that's another quote from the Jedi Master Yoda. So let's run that one more time. We'll see the image, the label, do or do not, there is no try, and a button that says click. And this time when we click on the button, the text on the label should change. Always pass on what you have learned. In this video tutorial, we successfully implemented a Java FX stack pane and we learned how to create the new stack pane, to add child nodes to the stack pane, and how to set the alignment of child nodes in the stack pane. If you enjoyed this tutorial, click the thumbs up button to like our video. Also, please subscribe to our channel to view more JavaFX content. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.